Hey coach, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk through step-by-step -step how you can get out of a sales slump. This is a video I wish I would have seen 12 years ago, 10, 12 years ago when I started my business because I used to get so frustrated and so discouraged if I talked to one person over the phone and they decided not to buy, I would take that really personal. It would stay in my head for a week. It would make it very difficult for me to get focused, get back on track and start getting more clients. So I wanna help you out with this. Now first, I want you to really think about this. If you're talking to a prospect over the phone and they decide not to buy, is that the end of the world? Of course it's not. It's not gonna be the end of the world. And I've talked to coaches who are unbelievably great at closing over the phone. And here's a stat that you probably don't even know. A great closer is closing around 20 to 35% of every single call that they get on, all right? That means if you talk to five prospects, all right, you talk to five prospects, one of those prospects is going to buy for sure. Four, most likely, are not going to join the program. Pretty simple. If you look at those stats, you know that you're gonna to have to face rejection. So rejection is part of the game. You have to get used to that and you have to know that that's normal. You're not gonna close 10 out of 10 clients. And I know there's, there's all this bull crap on YouTube. There's all this stuff on, on the internet about closing 10 out of 10 clients or nine out of 10 clients. Guys, it doesn't work that way. I, I'm here to tell you, I've had a really successful business. I, I mean, I close a lot of people into my program over the past decade. It doesn't work that way though. No one is closing that many <laughs> uh, sales. And over the last couple of years, I've invested time and money going to conferences, learning from sales trainers. These guys that have been doing sales for 20, 30 years that are at the top of the game, they even say it too. They're not closing 10 out of 10, all right? So 20%, 20 to 30% is normal. Facing rejection is one of those things that you either learn how to deal with it or you don't. But those who learn how to deal with it, they realize, well, not everyone's the right fit for me. And that's, that's what I want you to really get out of this video is you can't help everyone. Not everyone's going to be a perfect fit for you. But you have to frame it that way in your own mind. You have to really believe, you know what, this prospect, maybe they're just not ready. Maybe they're not the right fit versus taking it personal and saying, oh, no one wants to join my program. Because I used to do that and I can tell you, it's very hard to, to operate a business when you're really down about no one joining your program because you're not gonna wanna get on the phone. And one phone call that goes bad, oftentimes that disrupts a lot of coaches' businesses because they get really discouraged. And I want you to approach it very similar to, you know, what do you tell your clients? If they have a, a game and they lose, you, you're, always telling, you're always telling your clients, hey, bounce back, be confident, let's get back on track. And coaches are great at giving advice to kids, but coaches are <laughs> pretty pathetic about looking at themselves and being like, hey, dude, I need to get more confident on this. And this is one of, I would say, the most major details in your business. You could have the greatest marketing in place, but if you are not closing clients, well, you can't add anyone to your program. You can't put food on the table. And that comes down on your shoulders. But understanding rejection and then framing it in your mind that, you know what? I'm not going to close everyone and not everyone's gonna be a great fit for me and that's okay and you have to live with that, all right? But lastly, this is an area that I really specialize in. This is something I really help all my clients in our consulting program with is tracking and understanding your performance and having a very detailed spreadsheet. So you can see, all right, well, here's how many calls I had this month. Here's how I'm doing. And we break it down very, <clears throat> very similar to a batting percentage. Like if you watch ESPN and you see, you know, who's, who has the most home runs, who, who has the, you know, the best batting percentage right now, you can break down your performance with your calls very similar. This way you actually can see what the results are. 
And you could, and that's the thing, you could have a great month and then get to one phone call and then that call doesn't go well and then that puts you down and that gets you out of rhythm. Phone calls and closing needs to be something not only that you enjoy, but something that you know you can look back on at the end of the month to be like, all right, I'm on pace here. I'm right around 20 to 30%. And I know that number might sound weird. It might be like, well, that, that's not a very high percent. But it is because if you're talking to, let's say you talk to 10 prospects per week. If you talk to 10 prospects per week and you're closing at a 20% ratio, well, you're adding two clients per week. If those clients are paying $200 a month in your program, well, if we multiply that out by a month, you're adding eight clients every month. That's $1,600 more that's being generated per month. You'd multiply that out times 12 months. I mean, that's a lot of money. That's, a, that's over a six-figure business. And this is why you have to understand the numbers. You have to understand your performance. But we got to really understand the rejection piece and know that you are not being rejected. Ultimately, what it is, is they are not a good fit for you right now. And yes, you can absolutely improve on your sales process by knowing what to say, how to say it, what questions to ask, where to lead them over the phone. And these are all of the little details that I know I can help you with. And these are the details that help you grow your business. If you're watching this video right now and you already have a business, you already have clients, but you wanna ramp it up to the next level, you wanna get better at sales, you wanna close higher ticket sales, I'm your guy. It's very simple. If you already have a business, I can help you. If you're brand new to business, I would say go check out our ebook and video series. But if you wanna ramp it up, all I want you to do is very simple. Send me a text message here at 210-960-5771. I'd love to hop on a, on a quick call with you, learn more about your business, see how I can help out. That's it for today's message. I'll see you later.